Hey, it's Mark in the minivan. Hope everyone's having a great Easter weekend. Uh, another driving edition. I'm stopped at a red light right now. And listen, uh, so Jason Bonham, uh, he's playing with Sammy Hagar, Michael Anthony, The Circle is the band. And I think what I've heard, man, it sounds great, great. And I'm so excited for Jason after three disastrous records with uh, Black Country Communion the most vanilla, mediocre stuff you've ever heard. He finally seems to have a great band together. I did like the California Breed record. That was that was really good. Um, but Jason, what a talent. I've seen him many times doing the Led Zeppelin, you know, experience, tribute, whatever it is thing. It's always so good. Saw him at the Wellmont in uh, Montclair, New Jersey. A few times saw him open for White Snake um, more recently, White Snake and Foreigner. Great. Great, so good. He does such a great tribute to his dad's legendary band, Led Zeppelin. And so anyways, he was on Howard Stern recently and mentioned a story that involved Jimmy Page and drug use. You can go read it. It's transcribed on Blabbermouth. You can watch the videos uh, online and, and hear the audio. I'm not going to go into exactly what was said, but he basically, you know, mentioned Jimmy Page and drug use with Jimmy Page. So... And this is going back a ways, you know, this story he told. And so anyways, today they issued this denial. Actually, yesterday they issued this. He issued this denial basically saying that the whole thing he said on Howard Stern about Jimmy Page and, and cocaine and, and him was false. It never happened. So <laughs> you have two extreme sides, you know, and, and you got to wonder what where the truth is is it one side is it the other side is it somewhere maybe in the middle maybe leaning towards what he said on the stern show that's what i'm going with uh did he exaggerate things that he said on the stern show uh maybe maybe but I, my whole thing is howard stern is an amazing interview these people get into that studio with him and i don't know what happens man the uh they're able to there's like a a Maybe it's the oxygen Howard's pumping into the room, but there's like a truth serum in the room there. And people reveal stuff to Stern that they don't to most interviewers. Uh, they Their guard comes down. The truth, the real stories come out. And so my opinion on the whole thing is that the denial that obviously Jimmy Page had Jason Bonham do and release is probably not the truth. I believe what he said on the Stern Show is a lot more uh, probably truthful and probably much closer to what actually happened. And cannot wait for this new music that Jason is putting out with The Circle. I think, you know, kind of to backtrack a little bit, I think his relationship with Jimmy Page and the Led Zeppelin camp is probably way more complicated than we can ever imagine. And it seems complicated even from where I'm sitting here in the minivan. You know, they're, they're telling him to change the name and, you know, him playing with them at the O2 uh, Arena or O3 or whatever that fucking place was back you know, 12, 15 years ago, which in my opinion, wasn't a great performance. Um, you know, Paige definitely, he's never really regained his, his strength as a player as to what it was in the seventies. Sadly. I'm, I mean, I'm sick cause I love Paige. I love his playing and he's the man, but you know, he never has been able to kind of get that magic back that he seemed to have lost in the early eighties. Uh, when he reemerged with the firm, it just, it just wasn't wasn't what it was when he was with Zeppelin and you know Robert Plant has always been the guy who's blamed for not getting Zeppelin back together and I was one of those people who really wanted to see Jason tour with those guys back after they played that show in in England you know whatever that was 12 years ago or so and it, it never happened um but now I have different opinions I think maybe it's actually good that they didn't tour because Page, he just doesn't have it anymore. And there's a lot of bands you go out and you see them play and they just don't have that magic anymore. And it, it does affect the legacy sometimes. I really do believe that. And you can argue that if you want. But I I give I gave J Jason big props for going on the Stern Show and actually maybe telling a, a story that was, uh, was truthful. And it's sad that, that uh, he had to issue this denial and and bow down and, and cave to uh, the Led Zeppelin camp. But I do get it. 
those guys, they're so protective and so private and uh, God forbid a, a, a actual true story get out there. Everyone's so freaking PC this, these days, it's nuts. But Jason, keep doing what you're doing with Sammy Hagar, it's great. All right, later.